Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Creek, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Mother's Day card for you. I know that Mother's Day has come and gone, but I did not want my mother-in-law to see this card before I was able to give it to her because she follows me on social media, so she has now received this card and I can share it. So this card is using the stamp set from Colorado Craft Company, and it is called Carrot On and it is from the Anita Duram line. She is the author of the book, Guess How Much I Love You, and now she is illustrating for Colorado Craft Company, and that is super, super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this, but first I'm creating some grass for the scene. I have the MFT Grassy Edges die that I believe is no longer available, but Lawn Fawn has similar products and a bunch of other companies have grass as well so I will link to one that works. I'm using my Sizzix Sidekick machine to get this grass cut out and the card that I'm creating is a Mother's Day card but it could definitely be a birthday card or a thank you card. The sentiments in this stamp set and then the whole new release. This is the garden release from recent and there's just so many cute sayings and puns and birthday sentiments in all of the dine and I do have a bunch of these sets so you'll be seeing me using this here on my channel quite a bit but I love the sentiments on this set did some bunny say carrots and I carrot you in my heart always instead of I cherish you or carry you in my heart always I carrot you in my heart always and keep calm and carrot on so so many fun sentiments and the other sets have so many fun sentiments as well so I'm just getting the grass prepared seeing how it's going to fit on my card and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this bunny out on a separate piece of paper and color them up and continue with this card I definitely want to pull out this stamp set again and use some of these other sentiments and create like a birthday card or something else. So here I'm going to go ahead and stamp this out. I do have a birthday card coming soon with another stamp set from the garden release. I just loved all of the sentiments and the characters that I had to go ahead and get them all. Most of these sets and there's a matching dies to go with it. Though I did not get the dies because I don't mind fussy cutting out, but if that is your thing, you can definitely pick up the dies as well. So and now I'm just going to go ahead and color this in with my Spectrum Norm markers. And I just did a super simple coloring. And I stamped out a few more of the carrots here and I'm going to do some purple carrots up so my mother-in-law has a little garden um, that she does with my father-in-law and last year or the years before they grew purple carrots and my kids thought it was super super fun and so we definitely had to include some purple carrots in this card and then my mother-in-law's favorite color is purple so I included that purple on the scarf as well and then we're going to add some detail in here as we go along but first we're going to use some gray to make the colors or make the bunny pop out a little bit more make it more colorful not take away from the white I wanted a white bunny but by adding the gray and then using the colorless blender you're able to kind of bring that white to life a little bit more makes it stand out more and then I will add in the details after I add in the green the white details so I'm using the white Shakira jelly roll pen for that and I'm using uh, the 10 and then I'm gonna fussy cut that out off camera and then I'm going to start assembling my car So let's get assembling this card, but before I do that, I need to add in some sky, so I'm using my Distress Oxide ink, and my go-to blending brushes from the Rabbit Hole Designs. They are called the Cottontail Blending Brushes. 
and just inking up the card base to create the sky. And then I can go ahead and put the grass down and the bunny and stamp my sentiments and add the finishing details as well. And I'll have supplies linked down below in the description box if you are curious and want to know more about the supplies. You can go check them out there and see the supplies up close. And Father's Day is coming up, so I'll have some Father's Day cards coming your way here soon. It's been hard to get into my craft room these days, but I'm slowly getting back in there. And I'm hoping to have some more time this summer to get content made and just enjoy the process of crafting and the joy that it brings me. So adding the grass down and then what I like to do with this grass is just peel it up and put the different images behind it so that it looks more realistic as you set the scene. And I'm using the advanced tape glider to adhere all of this down. For some reason I did not pull up my liquid glue for this card and that's okay. There's so many different ways to create the cards and the scenes. And then I'm going to tuck these carrots in behind the grass as well, the purple carrots. Purple carrots. Apparently you can get special seeds and like the carrots are all different colors too. I saw something about that. Super, super fun. All right, so now the bunny and the carrots are all down so we can go ahead and work on the sentiments. So I'm going to be using the I Care You In My Heart sentiment from the stamp set. And just using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. And then I have a wood mounted stamp it says Happy Mother's Day from Hero Arts and I'm going to stamp that up top here and then to finish off the card add a little bit more purple and to make these sentiments stand out I'm going to bring in some scrapbook.com pops of color because I love how it finishes a space and just highlights sentiments and adds a fun effect. You could definitely go in and add some sparkle with the Spectrum Noir Marker clear overlay pen as well. There's so many different ways that you could finish up this card. This is how I chose to do it with the purple pops of color and then I'm just flicking the dots to make them flatter and not as pointy. And then that is going to finish up the card. So I will show you it close up here. And I love how the pops of color also give it a little bit of shine and a fun effect. So, so that finishes up today's card. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more cards coming your way very soon. Bye for now.